friends, welcome back. I am Vivekananda. So this particular sector named as a real estate sector is always considered to be one of the most profitable sectors. But then this particular sector is also subject to a lot of market fluctuations. Whenever the economy is good, this sector reaps a lot of dividends. At the same time, when the economy is in a downslide, this sector faces some stark realities. You see construction houses, big buildings, apartments not getting sold, uh, office rent, uh, rentals being, not being taken. Uh, so many challenges for this particular sector as well. And traditionally, this sector normally consists of this office space, then uh, hotels and uh, resorts, then it includes uh, houses, construction for houses. But one new domain is to be added in this particular real estate sector in India, which is called as the data centers. Today, the world over, there is always this big talk of data being stored in the country of its origin. For example, Indians data needs to be stored in India. So there is a big debate and a big talk going about this. And even in India, National Payments Corporations of India has taken the role of uh, guiding uh, people uh, may coming out with uh, regulations to store uh, the, this nation's data in the country itself. So now the point is there is a need for a lot of data centers. And uh, in today's video, we are going to discuss about uh, why the sector is arising, what are the opportunities before us, and what are the what is the business model around this particular data center. So first of all, let us discuss about why the data centers are becoming necessary and why uh, the need for data centers in the country will grow. So the first and foremost reason would be uh, today we are doing a lot of digital transactions. Uh, right from transferring cash to searching information and doing commerce and for entertainment we are doing we are, we are we are doing a lot of digital transactions in the mobile or a tab or a laptop and what happens is since everything is being done through the internet this particular user generator so this particular usage is considered to be as a data and if this data can be stored what can happen is you can mine this data process this data and you can send out some targeted advertisement to users. In fact, this particular field is also called as data sciences and data mining and so on so on. The point over here is data is being generated and you need to be storing it. So for that particular first reason you have here, you really need to have data centers. And what is the second reason? It is all about internet of things today. So every smart device, every device in the home is connected to the internet, right from your mobile phone to the television. In fact, uh, you operate your television using your mobile phone. Likewise, you can operate a lot of many other devices using your mobile phone or through this internet, which means internet of things, that particular sector is also generating a lot of data. And most importantly, 5G is going to be rolled out across the world. And what is the biggest usage of 5G? You can store much more streams of data. And where are you going to store these data? You really need to have data centers. And what is the basic requirement of these data centers? What does these data centers require? First is like real estate, it requires a piece of land and you need to have a large land then what is the second important requirement you need to have power electricity you need to have 24 by 7 power supply and the third important thing is you need to have back backup power too for example due to any contingency or any emergency uh, power is being blocked out so the data i mean the servers need to be run and you need to have backup power as well so and the other important requirement is air conditioners because inside these data centers where that servers are being kept where the data is being stored that particular rooms needs to be operated at a certain temperature at a certain cold temperature which means that you need to have air conditioners throughout the time throughout the day 
and apart from this uh, what else do you need you also need water and you need various other requirements and apart from air conditioners you need to have internet and you need to when I mean, you need to have internet it very clearly suggests that it cannot be established in some rural part because connectivity might become a problem so obviously it is going to be uh, situated in the cities maybe not it cannot be constructed in the heart of a city but the outskirts of the city so what happens is that is where the real estate actually jumps into the picture real estate um, constructions come into the picture uh, because how do you generate revenue how do you make money out of this first of all uh, per square feet of land you can charge for per square feet of land when you are renting out to the big cloud computing firms and after that what you can do you can charge for electricity or you can charge for various other professional services including security and uh, so on so this up this is like a normal office model for example uh, if you're going to set up a tidal park in your particular place if you, have, if you have seen a tidal park in your place you see that it occupies a large piece of land and it requires various other services and a lot of employees come in and come go, go out but maybe you don't require the same amount of employees but um, maybe a little but you need to have all the other requirements uh, similar to the other kind of office spaces so, so now this is the opportunity traditionally this particular sector was operated only through the data uh, specialized operators so only they were operating it but now since the scope is immense and the potential is keep on going on now the government wants the infrastructure uh, firms in other words the construction firms uh, real estate operators also to jump in in fact they are also ready to make use of this particular opportunity because it is just going to grow for the, uh, various reasons which I mentioned previously but then uh, what are the challenges uh, these uh, firms they want the government uh, to announce this as an infrastructure service because uh, once it is being done they can claim a lot of benefits out of it they really need some support because this is just a developing sector in India so the government they expect a lot of support from the government because they have they also have to put in a lot of money uh, right from hundreds of crores to thousands of crores so that is the kind of investment they have to do it and only after that they can take returns so they are actually expecting the government to provide some subs to them and once it is being done once data centers are being set up what they will do is they will leave their centers to big cloud computing firms and those cloud computing firms what they will do is they will rent the data uh, to the to other IT companies and startups and uh, so on and uh, that is how this model actually operates but the point over here is in Western nations, as I mentioned earlier, uh, so there and all it is all about uh, renovation and here in Asian countries it is all about setting up brand new and it is also mentioned that uh, it is about a 42 billion dollar industry uh, which is going to uh, develop and particularly in India this potential is about uh, 3 billion dollars for the next 3 years. And uh, this particular video, I just want to share out this particular information about data centers. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.